I'm here. I've been with my girl for nine years. Um, Ooh, man, you guys met, got together young, her, huh? Yeah, I met her when I was 12. We got together when we were 14. You know, we've been together ever since. Um, it's crazy, man. Um, I do a lot. I do a lot of traveling with the job I do. So you know, I be gone from time to time. So like around 2011, I had left. I was gone for like three months. She ain't never tell me she was pregnant. And then when I got back, you know, she told me like, yeah, I'm pregnant. All right, but I'm asking her like, you know, I asked how many months she was. She told me she was like two months. So off the muscle, I was like, you know, this ain't adding up. If well, I been gone, months, you've been gone three months. If I been months. gone almost three months and you two months, you know, it just don't make sense. So um, anyway, um, like five months later, I had to I had to leave and go work. I was gone for six months, so she ended up having a little girl, you know, while I was out of town. So didn't even call me and tell me, you know, that she was going into birth or none of that. But when I get back to town, you know, I meet the little girl. I'm playing with her. I'm talking to her. So I asked her, like, well, what are we going to do about the situation with me signing the birth certificate? And that's what she told me. was like, it's another man's name on there, but the reason she put his name on there is because he drove her to the hospital and he was there. <laughs> We watch your show every morning, man. <laughs> like, every morning, Steve. Like, man, we be betting. I'm always right. I'm <laughs> never wrong. Like, on everything. Every time we watch your show, I bet. Like, I bet they did it. I bet they ain't do it. Like, I, I'm never wrong. I'm never wrong. You <laughs> feel me? Never. I'm never wrong. So, I came here today. Because I want to know. I just can't keep going on life not knowing. What happens if the one of them, you know, say two of them, one of them are not yours. I mean, I ain't going nowhere, Steve. I raised them kids. I, you know, I'm all they know. So you want to make it work with yeah, Santrice? Yeah, I, I really do. Even though, like, what I, I mean, I've been with this girl so long, I can't even see myself trying to be with nobody else. Me and him. Because you've seen yeah. the show before, right? Yes, sir. Are you ever wrong? When you're guessing about somebody? Yes. Yeah. Most of the time. But this I time, am. you've got to be 100% right, because you know all the answers. Yes, and then I know that he's the father. Of uh, both. Of both. Good question. So, but I am curious about that birth certificate story. It was just... You never had sex with the guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have sex with the guy that drove you to the hospital? Yes. <laughs> I kept asking you. I kept asking you, and I kept asking you. You could have told me before the way out here. But we at, man. I'm sorry. Give me a hug. Man, I don't want no hug. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was just like that. Did you sleep did you did you sleep with that dude on the couch? I caught you in, in the house. Did you sleep with him? Yes. Yeah. Man, get away from me, man. I'm get sorry. away from me. Is it possible that either one of these men are the father of your children? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. All right, Raymond. Uh the first DNA test we're going to do is concerning your one-year-old boy. Concerning your one-year-old son, Raymond, you are the father of St. <laughs> Take his own on to read it. Cause I feel bad for you. That's why. Oh. Oh, man, what the <laughs> read it though Damn. for the audience and everybody else. Raymond is not the father of Santrice's four-year-old daughter. It ain't never gonna change. I'm always gonna love you forever. But we just need a couple months apart. Like, I ain't saying I don't want to be with you because I can't see myself being with nobody else. I love you more than life itself, but 
I just can't. I just need a little time just to just to get right and recuperate. My heart really hurts because I actually really thought that he was the father. You couldn't have put name on the goddamn birth certificate. That, that might be who the father is. We all here hope that you guys stay together, but if you don't and you move on, I think everybody would understand too. So, Raymond, I wish I could have gave you better news, buddy. And I'm, I hope you get over this soon, all right? Ty, which is, I thought was a good girl. Um, she told me she was 15. Oh, so she lied to you? Yeah, she lied to me about her age. Yeah. So, um, once I found out that she lied, um, I confronted her. Um, but when I confronted her, that's when she had a big scene in front of my house talking about she was pregnant and he gonna take care of this baby. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> He's gonna take care of this yeah. baby, 13-year-old. I, well, I said, well, how is he gonna take care of the baby? <laughs> First off, I said, two, you're a liar. You know, you lied about your age. And she's like, well, he should have thought about that. I said, no, you should have thought about that because you knew how old he was. He didn't lie to you. Your son wanted to be with me. You should have thought about Your that. You wanted to be with me. He, was. he wanted the no. baby. I didn't. No. You he wanted heard. the baby. This if you lied stuff. about his Turn age. Don't act like you love my daughter. You don't love my daughter. Amen. You know that's his baby. He's the only person I've been with. A 17-year-old woman and a 13-year-old boy, that's a huge age difference. And first of all, um, Do you want to be with Curtis now? Yes, I do. You want a relationship with I him? Do. And you want to stay with him? I do. Okay. Tiana, you done told me multiple times with me you get into an argument that this is not my baby. And then you would change your mind and say you're just mad at me because it's over an argument and you were just in the mood of the anger. There's a child involved. So I want to know, Tiana, is this really my baby or not? I also decided that I don't want to be a part of this baby life anymore at all because over the years I got comfortable with myself enough to come out to you and to my mother today that I'm a homosexual. I guess that comes, uh, his announcement that he's gay is a big shock to you, right? Yes, it is. Did you have any inkling at all? No. We literally talk about everything. I think he would have told me something like that. I didn't never think he would hide something like that from me. The tears that you don't, I don't believe it's real. We've been through so much. Are you much. serious? Yeah, I'm so serious. We've been are through you too serious? much. You put me through too We've much. been through too much. So how are you, how you gonna you just come really out and say some crazy stuff like that? It don't matter. You just okay. told me you was in love with me the other day, though. You just said you was in love with me the other day. I said a few things, but I'm not. I'm not in love with you at all. Over a couple of years, I've been not in love with you. You crazy? Like something really wrong with you? I'm crazy because you wanted to be with me. How am I crazy? When I was 13, how am I crazy? You wanted to be with me. No. You want to be with me. Well, I'm in a relationship. You want to be with me. I'm in a relationship. You got to deal with that. You're in a relationship yes, with uh, another, I, male. A, another male. Yes. I can't believe you betrayed me like that. I don't even care about nothing you talking about so right crazy. now. I just want to know if this is my baby. That's it. And you know deep down inside if it is or mine's or not. It is. I you hope so. I just want to know so we can move on. She is, if this she is, ain't my baby. She was a beautiful girl. <laughs> if this ain't my baby, um, can you leave me alone? <laughs> Sure will. Leave me alone, like all the way, no yeah. phone calls, no pop -ups, If it's no not, you're saying if it's not it, his baby. It. Like, no, you got it. At all. Okay. All right, stop talking to me. Um, I hope you got it. Stop talking head, to me. But you did say you'd like to, to lead your life as a gay man with no children. No children. Okay. But if I have to, my baby gonna be there. Okay. Regardless. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Curtis, uh, you came here to take a DNA test. And the results. Uh, with this little girl, came back. Curtis, you are not the father. Man, I told y'all, like, that is not my baby, oh. like. <laughs> Why did you lie? Like, you got all my family involved. My feelings is involved. <laughs> I love that little girl. I know what she was doing the whole time. This is her plan. All the things she wants is money, like. <sighs> I know, and I also got to imagine it's pretty. I'm attached to her, like. And I, and I believe that she believes that Curtis was the father. <laughs> right? You did believe that. This is what I was trying to avoid for any of us. You don't even understand that you ruined my life. I couldn't do so much because you brought this baby into my life. Don't try to put it all on me. Don't try to put it all on me. You wanted her to do somebody else. You wanted that baby too. I did. You wanted that baby too. But it's not? It's your baby. Put it on me. Like it's your baby, not mine. Okay. And you ain't gotta deal with it no 
no more. I know, I'm cool. I'm I apologize here. myself. I'd be a man and apologize for leading you on. For having you thinking that I was somebody that I'm not. And I apologize as well, but I really did think that she was your child. I only had a one night Are you gonna block me out because y'all on the outs again? I I'm, just want to know. I'm be there regardless. Because I'm attached. I want to be involved still. I'm no, just not going to be as involved. I'll still let you see it. Just like I said, I if hope. you need anything for the baby, I'm going to always be there. But me on this everyday father basis, that's cut for me. But if you need pampers, shoes, clothes, hair done, I'm there. That's me. And you, I feel like you know that. I've been there this long. And I've been there for you as well. That's well. We can hug it out. So, Steve, I'm here today to find out if my boyfriend's cheating on me. He's writing women on Facebook, talking about, hey, beautiful, hey, hon, you know, trying to strike up a conversation. And I feel like you're doing that behind my back. I have no idea what you're doing on Facebook, you know? So when I see it, it gets me going. Have you ever cheated on Ronnie? I cheated on Ronnie one time in the beginning of the relationship. And why'd you and do And I know that? him that. I mean, it was fresh. You know, we had just met. I didn't know if we was going to go as far as we are now. Right. So, you know, I did, you know, slip up a little. But I'm always honest with him. I tell when him you everything. Say, when, you, when you say you slipped up a little, what does that mean? I, I've had intercourse with another, uh, with an ex. <laughs> hey, no, look, you gotta stop No, I need me to know me. if you, you cheating on me, Ronnie. No, I don't know. I have no reason I, to cheat on you, think Shana? I feel? How do you think I feel when girls are texting my phone, asking me, oh, if we're together, if we having that's, sex? That's how does that make me feel? For you to feel like I'm no, cheating on you. No, I don't, I don't believe you, Ronnie. I need to know the truth. I'm here the to see if you cheating told. on me. The truth been told. I don't know. I, I don't know. I need to know, Ronnie. How do you think I feel? You make me go like this. You make me go crazy. You don't make me feel secure enough that me and you So you don't cheat on her, right? Not at all. Do you think she cheats on you? Well, for her doing this, of course. That makes me believe uh, she cheats. Ronnie's up first. Oh. <laughs> Ronnie made a confess, uh, confession right off the bat. He confessed to cheating with one female. That was okay. in the beginning, you know? Fine. It's just a... So, like, yeah, it's no big deal. I, I pretty much knew about that one time, so right. it's okay. okay. Then we asked him, besides one female, while being in a relationship with Deshauna, have you had sexual contact with any other females? And he said no. Besides one female, while being in a relationship with Deshauna, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females? And he answered no. And the results... Uh, came back the same, and they came back that your man Ronnie did not tell the truth. Right, right, right. Deshauna, your girlfriend, she came here and she made a confession. She confessed to cheating with five other males. <laughs> she, she, she stated it could be four or five, but. No more than five. <laughs> wow. So listen, that's not too bad. That's like one every other month. This exes, Steve. It's exes. Well, you you, you might want to hear the one more question. Now, come on. You I'll it. tell you, Ron, I'll be honest with you about everything. Oh, I just wanted to be honest. Then we went but on. It's exes, Steve. It's not like I'm the mean guy at the bar and... It's, I mean, I'm sorry. It's exes, guys Arches. I've dealt with before. Right. It's guys I've ever... And you can't say no. I mean, you can't say no? Okay. Baby, so then we went on and we gave her a lie detector test. And we asked her, since in a relationship with Ronnie, have you cheated on him with more than five other males? You know, because she said, no more than five. And she said, no. She didn't cheat on you with more than five. Well, the result for that question, came back that Deshauna did not tell the no, truth. No, no. Wow. No, that's not the truth. I can't that stay here. That's not the truth. From this day on, we are going to do gonna what we have to do. You're going to stop sleeping yes, with other people. Yes, Steven, we can even come back and we can take another test. I'll take 17 other tests and, and to prove to you, baby. All right, I'll, I love I'll, you, I'll baby. I'll move on with her now for Steve. Well, you don't have to do it for me. I'll move on with her now. Do you want to stay with her? Oh, yes, I you do. do. Let's be honest. Emotions running high during my show are totally understandable, but the lies and deceit are not. As a man who's been married for over 20 years, take my advice and be honest with those you love. But for all you liars out there, I wouldn't have a show without you.
I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.